The video you're about to see combines two of my favorite things, running the John Deere tractor and cutting some firewood. If you enjoy that type of activity and you're entertained by this video anywhere throughout the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Talk about purple collar life with your friends, share videos with people you think might enjoy them. We're trying to continue to grow this channel. We really enjoy putting out the content. We're glad that so many of you like it. We love reading through those comments. We read every single comment and not just me. Jennifer reads through them also. My parents read through them. Jennifer's parents read through them. Lots of family and friends. And I know lots of followers read through all the comments and we love hearing what's going on in your neck of the woods and hearing about what you're doing and what you think about what we're doing. Thanks in advance for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it just as much as I enjoy making it. It's the end of a work day here and we don't have much time. The sun's going down pretty quickly, but I do have the steel MS290, the chainsaw bar oil, and the chainsaw mixed fuel. I'm gonna head back in the woods. Today's project is to see how much wood I can get in a short amount of time. I've still got the bucket on from our landscaping topsoil move project. So I'd like to see how much wood I can get in that bucket and get it out of the woods with just one machine, no four wheeler, no trailer, using the chainsaw holder and the chainsaw supply basket on the back of my Artillion Rops bar. See what we can get done here. I don't know if you can tell, but I was able to lift that up, pull it back a little bit and slide it over so that this end is propped up on another log. I'm gonna cut down through that without cutting into the dirt. Now what I do is pull the chainsaw out. I use my ballast box as a little bit of a table. Got all my supplies right here. Grab my glove. These are those more lightweight steel gloves that I had talked about. A little bit better for summertime use.
I don't know if you guys will remember or not, but this is actually the third time I've been cutting at this cherry tree. Jennifer and I came back once with the four-wheeler and the trailer. I came back by myself once, and this is the third time. There's a lot of wood in that cherry tree that fell down. Not something we cut down, it just fell down on its own. So to make good firewood in the future years, let's so see how much we can get in that bucket. I don't think this may be two or three trips worth. I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit first. It's pretty warm. I don't want it to melt this plastic rubber piece. I think you can probably see up through the woods there. Bing, 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 there's trees right in a row up this old road. I'll just be able to cut at them one at a time. So it's nice, I can bring the tractor back here and get that firewood. There's those trees I was talking about. They all came down in a windstorm. These pieces are too big to fit two rows high in the bucket. So that's really gonna limit how much we can take. We started loading from the smaller end of the log. We got on, not counting these little ones, 12 pieces really green cherry still so it's pretty heavy hopefully we can lift it first of all and then secondly once we lift it hopefully we're safe backing out of here it's not exactly even terrain so if I feel it's getting light in the back end even with all that ballast we might have to throw a couple pieces off and what we have left is one two three four five six seven I think seven or eight pieces from the thicker end of the log so we should be able to get that in one more load. Don't forget, I do have loaded rear tires. I've got that ballast box on the back, almost completely full of sand. Sometimes it's even really heavy for the three point hitch to lift, but that still felt pretty light in the back end, at least coming up over the grade. The little boy in me still loves going through the mud. You can see those R4 tires did okay in the mud. Definitely not as good as the R1 agricultural tires and probably not as good as those new R14 tires. Let's get out and stack this wood. For a short amount of time and only taking one thing back in the woods, 
The tractor did a great job. This John Deere 2210 continues to impress me. Now I know that's not a ton of firewood, but it's certainly a pretty good load on that front bucket of green Pennsylvania hardwood cherry. Um, so it, it's definitely no light lift. And I could tell that by the kind of the lightweight in the rear end while I was coming out of the woods and some of that uneven terrain. Some of these smaller pieces that were totally dried out, I just cut to bring out here. We've actually got some friends coming over tonight. We're gonna have a little fire here at the Rural King Fire Ring. We're gonna throw some, we're gonna do some ax throwing at the ax target we made. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. Lots of great videos in our older stuff for those of you that are newer, or even if you've been here before, watch them a second time, we'd really appreciate it. Okay, every little bit helps. This additional cherry firewood will be great to split later on. Burn maybe this winter, but probably the next one. It's gonna take this a while to season out and dry out. But I went into the woods today with the task of, I don't normally have the bucket on the tractor. I've got the grapple or the pallet forks, but I kind of just wanted to see in one machine, not getting out the four wheeler, not getting out the little trailer, one machine with the bucket on the front, the artillion toolbar on the back, taking my chainsaw and my supplies with me, all on the tractor, what it would be like cutting firewood with just one machine. And I'd say as long as I can get there, you know, there's some muddy spots, it'll continue to get more muddy as the spring goes on. Um, but as long as I can get there, this is a great tool to go in and cut firewood. I still wish the Ranger was running. I haven't got that four wheel drive issue figured out yet. So hoping to get to that soon. But this is nice because it's got the nice chainsaw rack on it now. So safely get my chainsaw in and out of the woods and haul some wood out at the same time. I think it worked out really good. If you like videos like this, please give us a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Comment down below and we'll see you again the next time. Here's that Rural King fire ring. As a reminder, we assembled that here. Bought it at Rural King. Mackenzie, Jennifer and I did that project. I thought that was a fun video. Put a link up above to that one. And then back behind me is the axe throwing target I made at no cost using just leftover wood. So I show you how I built that. Not exactly to the standards of the American Axe Throwing Federation or whatever the group is, but certainly fun for backyard practice.